Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, as you can see in the title, I'm gonna do a video on what are the best and the worst tank mates for crayfishes. Dun dun dun. This is a 20 gallon tank, as you guys already know. Um, I don't know when this video will go up, but by the time it gets uploaded, I'm sure things will have changed. Uh, but you know, I, I'll do an update on that. But anyway, as of right now, I have this uh, beautiful 20 gallon tank with one crayfish in here. Uh, like I explained in the previous video, this crayfish is in this tank because he only has one claw. And I want him to heal quicker and grow his other claw quicker. So uh, I separated him into this tank. But Along with this crayfish, in this tank there are a few other creatures like the blue diamonds that I'm trying to breed but not exactly breeding and then just one baby mysterious fish. Uh, this fish came with the crayfish when I bought it and uh, I still don't know what kind of uh, fish this is. Doesn't exactly look like a guppy uh, but I think, I think it is a guppy. But anyway, so as you can see, I do have a bit of a community tank, uh, although it's not active and too noticeable. Uh, I do have other creatures, other fishes and shrimps in my crayfish tanks. Like for example, in this case, this 20 gallon tank that you guys already seen before uh, houses three crayfishes and then male guppies in here. Only males and bunch of other Bloody Mary shrimps. And the reason that the shrimps in this tank are doing great is because there's plenty of algae growing on the side of the other glass walls. And this tank used to have like algae all over the tank, uh, but uh, snails that I got accidentally over about a month, uh, they cleared all the algaes and now it looks a little brown and unhealthy. But this much of algae is perfect for the shrimps uh, in this tank so these guys can flourish. And there's one crayfish that I explained in the other video that lost his antennas because of the fight uh, against the other aggressive crayfish. But uh, yeah, my point is that this 20 gallon tank housed multiple different kinds of fishes and different kinds of shrimps along with the crayfish. So uh, most people actually worry and uh, they get confused on the kind of tank mate that they can have in their crayfish tank because if you do your research on the internet, most people say to not have any tank mates uh, in the tank because these guys will catch shrimps, catch fishes, catch snails, anything else but crayfishes uh, that are larger than them in the tank. They will consume the weak ones as their food. Uh, but from my experience of having these guys for a couple of months now, I think about four months, um, I've had a fair luck with having these guys along with other uh, fishes and shrimps. So I never had an incident where my guppies or our, our shrimps were being fed or these guys were eating these guys. By, by that I mean the crayfish is eating or trying to catch these guys. They would show a bit of an aggression when the fishes or shrimps come close. But other than that, they don't go about searching for these guys to catch them as food. Because also in this thing, like, like I explained in the other video, this crayfish is the most aggressive male crayfish I have. But as you can see, there's a tail and that one is an algae eater. It's um, pleco, it's a plecotomus. Uh, I think it's clown pleco, yes, it's a clown pleco. Uh, they're fairly fast, but uh, this one is a smaller one. It's like a baby. And then we have a bunch of quarries and female guppies in, in this tank along with this crayfish. But this crayfish doesn't exactly seem to show any interest uh, for any of the fishes and other snails. I think there are times when these guys, you know, uh, bug on these um, empty, empty uh, snail shells. But other than that, they don't go about searching for food because I think that's one of the reasons um, that because uh, I feed them often. These guys are just usually, you know, hanging on and about uh, along with each other. Not exactly, you know, being aggressive towards other creatures in the tank because I feed them very, very often. So I tend to feed them about three times a week, uh, three times a day, not a week. Don't do that because, you know, that's not good. Three times a day, you know, just one pellet at a time. So these guys have plenty of food and the, all the leftovers usually get, um, uh, get taken away. But uh, usually all the other fishes and shrimps eat them. And that's one of the reasons why I have these tank mates with uh, crayfish. So crayfishes sometimes leave these leftovers as you can see because these are too tiny for them to grab. 
um, they don't necessarily show any interest after you know feeding large amount. So these little tiny shrimps, in this case the Bloody Mary, will come around and search for food and just eat them and a couple hours later they're all gone. As well as these baby guppy fishes that are now becoming juniors and adults um, feed off of these leftovers that crayfishes uh, have left for them as well as the snails actually. I have a couple of snails in the tank but um, when it comes to you know identifying the, uh, the fishes and, and shrimps that you shouldn't have with these crayfishes uh, are the ones that are slower. The slower you know fishes Oh, so aggressive all of a sudden. But slower uh, fishes and precious shrimps that you don't want to risk are the ones that you should usually take them out of the crayfish tank. But know this, uh, from my experience, um, my crayfish has never preyed on any of the fishes or shrimps. So I usually don't exactly have a worry. But what I worry is that when I have fishes and my crayfishes, for example, are buried and they're about to lay eggs and whatnot, I take out all the fishes and other shrimps from the tank uh, because there's a possibility that other fishes and shrimps can, you know, try to eat those little eggs and whatnot. So uh, I guess in this case, it's the other way around. Like, I fear for the other tank mates attacking the crayfish and their uh, little ones. But uh, yeah, just um, do your research on the tank mates, but having to keep um, just about two male and a female in a 10 gallon tank is perfectly fine from my experience. And up to four in a 10 gallon tank as long as you have a good filtration. But uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find other sources that tell you otherwise as perfectly fine. All the crayfishes are different. But uh, my crayfishes are perfectly fine with housing uh, with a couple of fishes and a couple of other shrimps. Um, because crayfishes aren't too fast. They don't swim around all the time. They're just like still like that. So, you know, just sit around, stand around, just look around and whatnot. They don't go off chasing other fishes and stuff. So, um, yeah, just make sure you do your research and any questions regarding, you know, tank mates. Just uh, let me know in the comment section. Okay, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye.